Welcome back. And for this video, I'm going to show you how to import an existing project that has been exclusively uh, textured within Photoshop. And uh, also a few tips and a few things to watch out for. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I've already previously loaded a uh, model of mine. It's a Southwest Dolphin. Um, I've modeled it quite some time ago. Now, the reason why I'm working with this one is I'm not really happy with the textures. That's why I kind of wanted to try to um, actually import what I have into Mari to kind of uh, work on them and kind of make them a little bit better than they are. Now, first thing you really got to think about or you got to keep an eye on is um, the textures for this particular model are all 4K. Now, make sure the channel that you're working on, I know I already have one there. I'm not going to show you yet what that is. But um, the particular channel that I'm working on, you got to make sure that um, they coincide with the texture sheet that you're gonna uh, that you're gonna import. So as you see, these are set to 4K already. Okay, go back to Ortho tab. Now let's go ahead and jump over to Photoshop, and I will show you exactly what the PSD file that um, that we're gonna work with looks like. So let's go ahead and jump over. So I'm not the cleanest person in the world, as you can see. I have a, a lot of things shut off and um, it's, it's, it's just a mess. Now, if you try to import this into Mari as it sits right now, you're going to get a ton of files that you don't need. Um, it's, it will import everything, um, except a, a majority of your adjustments. Um, another thing to keep in mind is if you have a folder, let me go ahead, that has uh, pass through enabled, it's not going to import that. Okay, it does not like pass through at all. So what I ended up on doing is I just kind of went through this whole thing, kind of got rid of what I really didn't need at, at the particular time in pertain, you know, when it pertains to the diffuse end of things. Um, I did save a copy of it because, you know, I want to sit there and go ahead and go over the, the bump and some of the spec later, uh, layers at a later date, but I don't want to import them into my diffuse channel. So after I was, you know, maybe about 10 minutes of cleaning up, let's go ahead and move over here and zoom out a little bit. Okay. And, I, you know, I did clean a, a, a lot of things up. I don't know if I can go ahead and delete that. Um, so this is basically what I want to import. It's pretty much all the hard work that, that uh, I previously done. Um, I went ahead and saved this. As a matter of fact, we'll go ahead and save it now. And keep in mind on my on my folders, I just did it either overlay, you know, multiply something other than pass through, because you can sit there and rearrange all your layers you need. You can adjust the um, blend modes of your folders, you know, within Mari. So I went ahead and saved this, which I already did. All right, we're going to jump back to Mari. And what I want to do, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this in. Just make sure it's 4K. Right click, import into layer stack. And now this particular video, I'm just going to go ahead and go over the uh, this one right here, 1001. I'm not going to sit there and um, go over the other map. Go ahead and. And I do not want it to resize my patches. If anything, I want it to resize the images. Okay, we'll just go ahead and hit update. And now keep in mind, you know, some blend modes are different within Photoshop than within Mari. You know, so you're going to have to, you know, spend some time, not a whole bunch of time, to adjust things, kind of back, you know, get it back to where you wanted to. And you also, as I said, see, it's looking the pass through group, which is you know not supported within Mari. Just hit OK if you get that, and just keep that in mind when you're uh, cleaning up your PSD files. And generally, it does not take but a few minutes. Okay, and as you see here, this is exactly what I was talking about. The blend modes are a little bit different here and there. There's certain ones that you know, um, are not within Mari. So what you're just going to have to do is make sure. And as I, as I said, you know, 
It keeps everything still foldered up like you had it, which is very convenient. And basically what I did is I spent maybe, you know, maybe about 15 minutes. You can see this is the layer that uh, they had the pass-through enabled. So I'll just guesstimate and put it there. But it also um, imports your masks. And really, like I said, the only thing that it does not really import is going to be, you know, your, your a lot of your adjustments. But that being said, you know, pretty much everything is there like I wanted to. It doesn't look pretty at this point, but like I said, I spent about 15 minutes on it, and I will show you the final one I came up with after doing some adjustments. Now, this is not perfect. Um, you know, like I said, I, I, yeah, I can probably spend another, you know, 10, 15 minutes kind of splitting up some of the files, adjusting here and there, adjusting blood modes and stuff like that to get it exactly like I have in Photoshop. But I also wanted to show you this here. Now, I'm going to UV mode, and let me go to home here, kind of show you how close I got it to Photoshop. So we'll go ahead and zoom in, zoom in. Okay. I'll get the right thing here. And pretty much, you know, it's spot on. I mean, there's really a little bit of difference here and there. But from here, you have the freedom of going back and forth in the Photoshop, back in the Mari. Um, you can do a, a ton of other things within Mari that you would not be able to do within Photoshop. Um, you know, like I said, there's a little bit of work involved, but not a whole bunch to really make it a pain in the butt. Um, it's quite easy to uh, to deal with. And, you know, and you can do the same thing, um, you know, with your with your bump, with other maps, uh, with additional textures, you know, that you may, you know, want to add or, or import. And, uh, you know, that's really about it. It's really painless to... Uh, to bring your models in here to, uh, you know, really, really tweak the textures within Mari. Well, I think that about wraps it up. If you guys really have any questions, just uh, let me know. Have a nice one.